All right, now when we look on the outside of the Skinny Guy camper, we actually have some pass-through storage here. This is uh, where we would slide in the lifting jacks to remove the camper. And these couple clamps here, they pull everything down tight when you fold the camper back over. These are a couple handrails here as you're climbing in. This is just a standard rooftop tent style ladder. Um, they do have some things in the works uh, to change that, but I actually think this is a really clever solution. And you can see the whole door here, zippered entry. And it does have a couple magnets in place along this one seam uh, that keeps the, like the dust and rain cover in place so that you don't get any, any leaks through the zippers. But a high quality tent overall, big windows. And you can see here on the back, um, this is just a, a resting place for this lifting rod. A lot of this is just classic old marine stainless steel hardware here. You can see the strut that allows you to lift up and over and, and the strut works in both positions. So it helps you lift the top over when it's in the stowed position. And then it also helps you lift the top from this side uh, when it's in the open position. These are heavy duty rods here that support the weight of the occupants when they're in the bed position. This solar panel is actually really clever. Uh, it just has a couple pins on the end and the solar panel slides down and flips up and into the open position so you can get solar power while you're in camp. You can see the structure is all really robust. So when we're talking capacities on this camper, we have a 190 watt solar panel. We have a 34 gallon fresh water tank. There's about four or five gallons in the hot water heater as well. And then it has a 100 amp hour battery. So if you think about 8.33 pounds per gallon, you can easily end up with 350, 400 pounds of water in this camper. So you need to be mindful of your payload uh, when you fit this camper. It does come in at around uh, 12, 1300 pounds wet. So you need to be mindful that your truck can take that load, but then it can, that it can also take that load up uh, fairly high on the chassis as well. And then in the back here, you've got some drains for, for your gray water tank. You have a way to winterize the system as well. Shows you your current battery voltage here. Um, you can actually turn on some tank heaters if you're in really cold conditions. Um, and then you can do fresh water drains and also drain your, uh, your black water as well. And along this side, you can see where your water intake is. And then this is gonna be your charging port for the NOCO. So you can leave this plugged in when it's in your garage or connected to your vehicle and keep all of the systems topped up. And then you've got the, the Truma. So this is the Truma Combi unit. And this uh, is the exhaust for that. Uh, it heats both the air temperature or the air for the heater in the cabin. And then it also heats up your hot water as well. This whole levered rack system here is really clever because of course you have to get the rack up and out of the way if you're going to set up the tent and it uses a strut to help you do that. Uh, Walt's got this set up on his truck uh, with some additional storage. Um, storage is a little bit limited in the skinny guy so having something like this a small rack or a small storage box allows you to bring a, additional items along with you that you may need. Yeah, One thing that's really clever about the skinny guy camper is it does have this rain gutter here that runs along the material of the canvas and it runs down and to these hose outlets. And so you can actually run a hose from here, catch all the rain and run it into the camper here at the intake port. And then it'll run through this particular camper has a full filtration system. So it has um, multi-stage filters and then it also has a UV uh, pass through so it just kills anything that comes in um, and you can actually stay out longer uh, when you've 
got rain for the day, you can fill up your water tanks. So this rear storage locker, it's got quite a bit in there. So you got your fill water hose. You can also see the size of your propane tank in here. Even has a gauge on it, which is really important when you've only got one tank. So you need to be able to check on the status of your propane as well. So personally, I find that a camper like this is actually really pleasant to spend time in. It's, it's not as small as you'd think. It's got quite a bit of space because of all the canvas once the tent sets. So here we are in the inside of the skinny guy camper when it's all set up. So it's mostly uh, this heavy duty canvas walls. There is a tubular structure that holds everything up and into place. And these collars hold everything tight. So it pulls all the material taut. This is forward in the camper. So this would be um, just behind the truck cab. Uh, we've got a, a whole kitchen assembly that normally stores down on the ground in transit. And then you pick it up and you set it up on top of this bench. And they've got all these quick disconnects that allow you to connect water, uh, hot water, cold water, um, and then your sink drain, as well as your propane. This is a really clever all in one unit. So you've got your sink on one side, a single burner stove on the other. And the same thing with the Dometic fridge. The Dometic fridge actually fits uh, just kitchen here and then the Dometic fridge sits uh, kind of right where my feet are. And you put them both up on the bench when you get everything set up. Then you've got one side of the bench. This could easily sleep a kid at night if you needed to. Then you've got all your electronics in here. So you can see the inverter, you've got your deep cycle battery, all your electrical components. You also have a lot of uh, water fitting and components there as well. They use a Red Arc Manager. You can see the Xantrek system as well. And then they use a Truma Combi for doing both air heat and water heat. Here you have your carbon monoxide tester. And then uh, the traditional camper table. Uh, these are actually great. They disassemble completely and um, move out of the way. And those are actually really useful camping tables overall. The floor of this camper is also very clever. Um, it does remove easily with a couple snaps, but it's all waterproof. And you can actually shower right on this floor and everything drains out through um, into this gray water drain tank here in the floor. So you can actually shower inside if you needed to. And that's actually where the shower connection is. So you flip up this lid and the shower connection goes right in there. There's one of your heater outputs. And then there's some additional storage and this is where your toilet lives. So this is a proper flushing toilet. And then you can see some additional storage over here on this side as well for bedding and other things that you may need. You got these little cushions. Now the bed itself is about queen size. This is all leveraged out over the back of the truck. Um, but it is very stable. I didn't notice at all that it was uncomfortable last night. So I just threw my little arrow knot blanket over the top of the, the mattress and a couple pillows and had a really good night's sleep. Um, and then the bed itself is, is massive. So you really do feel like you've got quite a bit of space in here and a lot of, a lot of systems and functionality uh, that make camping really comfortable for you as well. So overall, I'd give uh, the skinny guy camper a, a thumbs up for for two, three season camping, no problem. Um, if you got into some colder weather, it does have a heater, um, but you're gonna wanna keep it um, into basic two, three season uh, camping is I think a good fit for it.